We're here at Superior Tech. Now, you guys make that big leaf vacuum. You bet. Uh, yes, we do. The TKV20, that's correct. I've got to tell you, that thing sucks. <laughs> it has tremendous suction power. It actually works really well. We really like that product. That's not all you make, right? No, we've been a uh, supplier for John Deere for almost 30 years, and uh, we're glad that you came to visit us today. We want to show you around a little bit and tell you what we do here at Superior Tech. Okay. Most everything that we build, it goes out with the John Deere name on it. It's got green and yellow. Let's start over with this sprayer. You got access to your pressure regulator, and then each one of these is a different section. Oh, and then this is the overall on-off? That is the on-off for the phone. For the foam. Yes. So this has on the end of these, yeah. you can see uh, of the booms. They have the foam foam kit, which will be discharging uh, you know, small droplets of foam so you know exactly the pattern that you had so you don't have to a lot of, have a lot of overlap. So to turn it all on, I have to flip all three of these levers? Uh, with the PTO running, yes. Okay. And how wide is it? This is an 18 foot boom. Uh, we also have a uh, 24 foot boom that has two pieces on the ends that also pull up. Okay, so either 18 or 24 is the two different widths. This you bet. And how big is the tank? This is 110 gallon capacity. We also have 150 gallon capacity uh, available for these as well as the 60 gallon uh, for the smaller compact utility trucks. Okay, you do have a 60 gallon. Yes, we do. We have a 60 and a 45 three point, which typically go on the one series tractors. 45. And how, how wide are the booms on those? Same? Those go up to 120 inches. We also have a boomless spray one that will do out to 30 feet. I'm trying to figure out what size I need. So what do I need for about five acres? For about five acres, you're probably doing pretty well with a 60 gallon three point inch sprayer. It yep. all depends on what you want to spray and how often you're going out there to spray it and what you're, you're putting down. But uh, typical something like a broad leaf 2,4-D if you're spraying uh, weed control, a uh, 60 gallon will do you just perfectly fine. Okay. 60 gallon, and, uh, and I can do that with my 1 Series. You can do that with your 1 Series. Hook me up. That's just the regular John Deere snowblower. The only thing that's neat about these is, you know, you've seen this new, I'm sure you have, the new A that kind of came over from Europe, the front hitch. Yeah. And these attachments, these are some heavy duty attachments that they've put no on. No more these. weak quick hitch. No. Like the older 2 Series had. Um, and like that unit has. But uh, yeah, it's uh, that's beefy, isn't it? Yeah, all of the attachments that went along with that got, a, got a, uh, a dramatic increase in their ability of what they can accomplish. So this is a, a salt spreader, I guess, right? And this cover keeps it from getting wet. You bet. When you have something like rock salt that would be in this spreader, this has a, a neck with an auger that pulls out the material. Uh, you typically want to be able to protect it from the elements. You don't want the salt to wick moisture out of the air. If you let it sit for a little bit, it becomes one big brick and uh, you got to figure a way to get it out of there uh, and not the intended way. It's got a little auger in the, the bottom there, I guess, and then a, a pan sticking up to keep it from bridging. How, how far width-wise will this spread? This will spread up to 24 feet. So think okay. about it. In this case, uh, you're doing the parking lot. You get the parking lot plowed as this tractor is configured with. It has the plow extensions on the 54-inch blade, so it gives an effective width of 72 inches. It also has the terror grip, so this would be a perfect product to take out to a uh, parking lot that you maybe just got blacktopped. You don't want to scrape it up. That's why we have the terror grips. They give you good traction without uh, scraping the, the pavement. And uh, you're done with it uh, plowing. You turn on the salt broadcast spreader as you drive past everything and make sure that it doesn't get ice then. Terra Grips, so that's the kind of a tire chain, but it's rubber. The intention of this product for Terra Grips is really for people that want to protect their surface. It doesn't give you as good a traction as, as tire chains might, but you need a lot of weight if you're going to use tire chains to get good traction. What it does though is it's better than just straight bar tires or turf tires. So okay. uh, it's for the people that have a surface they want to protect. Uh, what you complement it with typically would be like a rubber squeegee on your, on your plow blade or a poly edge. Uh, the goal there is is you go out and plow your driveway and you don't leave those marks. If anybody ever had I had tire chains and you, you spin the tires because the differential lock isn't locked up, you'll see that you uh, ruin the blacktop surface. So I have industrial tires on my 1 Series. Will, will it help my industrial tires or what do you think? It, it should help you on those industrial tires as well. Uh, this is a case of just where you want a little bit more traction. Uh, this is what the terror grips will do for you. Okay, but if you have turf tires, it'll really you make bet. a major difference. Yeah, a lot of the customers don't want to you know, put bar tires on. It, you know, Probably 30 years ago when my dad was doing it, you'd always have a set of bar tires in the garage and you take the turf tires off and you put the bar tires on for the winter time. Okay. Well, we don't have that anymore. So okay. instead you just put terror grips on you go from there. Okay, now this one is mounted to this, what do you call this hitch? This is uh, John Deere's click and go hitch. Click and go, that yeah. sounds like it. A... Well, it's pretty easy. The whole idea is you pull out these pins. Pull that back. Yeah. Yes, 
now to put it back on, what do you have to do? To put it back on, you just open this up, you raise it up, throw your levers, and it clicks right back into place. I mean, to simplify, you click. And you go. We make a hell of a team. <laughs> this also is a mounted sprayer. It uses the click and go that we just uh, showed. What's nice about this mounted sprayer is it's 25 gallons capacity. It sprays 120 inches wide. Uh, it is a mounted sprayer, which is really nice because it follows you around wherever you're going. Unlike yeah, my pull type sprayer, every time I try to back it up, it is so <laughs> close to the tractor, it's very difficult to back. Yeah, so that's the nice thing about these mounted sprayers. So these are, these are fully John Deere branded, so if you buy the John Deere brand sprayer, that's... This, here. this is what you get. It's fully integrated into the vehicle. Uh, the wire harness all, all comes together. It's very nice, clean package that uh, you as an installer, you again, literally click and you go and just plug it in. Made in the USA. It's pretty slick. All you have to do is reposition the angling cylinder uh, okay. with one bracket, put it right on top, and you got yourself a uh, three-in-one bucket. That's simple. Yeah. For, the, for this series tractor, you got mulch pile. It's a lot easier than using a wheelbarrow or a pitchfork. Is this sold through Deere? This is. This is a John Deere licensed product. It's called the Tractor Shovel. The Tractor Shovel. And it's available on the 54 inch blade. Okay. I got one of them. 54 inch blade, that is. That's nice. Okay, now this is similar. This is the similar one. This is its, uh, this is its younger sibling on the X3 and 500 series tractors. Uh, the Select Series, this is the 40 inch tractor shovel. Uh, same concept, uh, same use case for a customer. Uh, you know, I, I have material whether I want to grade, uh, whether I want to um, you know, move mulch, uh, and it works in much of the same exact manner. It's powered by an actuator. I can go ahead and I can pick up my bucket, I lock it in place, I lower it, and that's how I open it. That is cool. Yeah. So you just have one single actuator to do that, and you just use that lock to determine whether it's going to open the bucket or go all the way down. Yeah, that, that, that's the neat innovation on this product. How much does that thing sell for? Uh, the MSRP on this is $958. It's under $1,000. and I, I mean, it's, it's a way to dig. If you have a smaller machine like this, you can add this and you can, you can do some mulch moving. You have downforce. That's also the nice thing about this. You don't have that in the other blades. You're able to get downforce. So if you want to do a little ground engaging work, uh, you got a gravel driveway or something like that, it works really well in that case. And no hydraulics needed. This is totally electric. So that's a compelling solution. Okay. Here's the pitch on this, Tim. The hard part with a gator and when you go spraying is you got to stay at a constant speed if you want to have even application. Yeah. What we've done here with this sprayer, this is our brand new product. It just came out. This is our pulse width modulated 90 gallon gator sprayer. What's nice about it, you just get in the gator and you go. Anywhere from 3 to 10 miles an hour, we'll do the hard lifting for you. We will adjust the spray tip so you're getting even application through the entire pass. Hold on, hold on. You're saying if I go a different speed, it's going to spray a varying amount of liquid so that I don't have to worry about that anymore? Exactly. What we've done here is we've actually tied into the, uh, the system with John Deere and we're reading the vehicle speed right off of their CAN bus. And okay. so we're able to process that speed and determine how much material should be put down and adjust accordingly. Christy, I need one of these. Yeah, I knew you were going to say that. It does the work for you. We okay. all need that. But that only works on the Gator, right? Because we don't have a CAN bus on the 1 Series, so I can't do that on my little tractor. No, that, not yet. We'll just say that much. Hmm. I like the sound of that. Um, how big is this tank? This is a 90 gallon capacity tank. Uh, for you to get to it, what you do is you just take the two knobs off here, pulls off your boom, disconnect the wire harness, open the gate, and you're able to slide it right out. Okay. Now, I don't need that much tank. As we just said, I just need 60 gallons. So do you have a smaller one? We do. We have this both in a uh, 45 gallon and a 25 gallon version for you as well. Okay. Again, I gotta have one, Christy. Well, I want the gator, so. Get me a gator and then maybe you can have the sprayer. So I thought you were an engineer, John. Uh, I, I was at one point. Now I'm in marketing, so I joined the dark side. I, I'm kind of sensing a little bit of a salesman happening here. <laughs> I, well, we've got you to buy the gator. So now what you need to buy for the gator, Tim, is you got to get yourself a salt sprayer. And that salt sprayer that we showed you earlier just won't do it. You've got a big property now. You need one of these. It also doubles though as a top dresser, so you can use this in the springtime as well. 
If I order by midnight tonight? Uh, 1999. <laughs> <laughs> so how much salt will this thing hold? This is a 10 cubic foot hopper. So this, this is really primarily designed for uh, the commercial applicator. This is somebody who is going out there, they have municipality, they have grounds they need to take care of. Uh, this is the unit that you can get it filled up and you can go out and be ready for the snowstorm before it ever hits the ground. So I put a blade on the front, this on the back, and I'm ready to go. You bet. This also just came out this December as well with John Deere. I see the wrong color out there. I yeah. think it's invading our space. Now I recognize this. Yeah, this is the TKV20 that uh, you guys reviewed a little bit earlier this fall. Works very well too. Thank now, you very much. You know, one thing I noticed is that I may have my hose a little bit too long. What we have here is we have it on the Kubota tractor. So this is something that we, we recognize and need in the market. MCS20, which is back there, which we did with John Deere that works with their power flow. Excellent product, been rave reviews. One of the downsides is, is it just doesn't fit all of the compact utility tractors. There's a series of them where the power flow isn't compatible. For that, we decided to build ourselves a vacuum unit that runs off the PTO. The whole thing is iMatch hitch compatible, so you can easily pick the thing up and off you can go. Uh, in the case that we're compact utility tracker, you know, three point hitch being universal, it does work with the Kubota. And so uh, this is one of our things in, in the development, the testing of this. Uh, that's why you see a orange piece of equipment here is we wanted to evaluate it against competition and make sure that we're building a unit that uh, will set the deer one up ahead. And it'll also work with the two series and the three series deer, right? That have the mid-mount mower? That is exactly correct. Okay, a lot more flexibility this way. You don't, all you need is some sort of plastic boot on your mower. And if you can figure out how to do that, you can use the TKV20. You bet. That was the idea. Three point hitch is pretty universal. Let's make this as universal as possible. What as well. is the diameter of the boot that. This is a 10 inch hose. Okay. So anything that can somehow route Get your mower to here. your 10 inch hose will be good to go. This, is, this, has been, uh, this has been incredibly well received. We rolled this out uh, about uh, July. You got one of the first units. Uh, we, we had some good press online. We had a great video put out there and uh, this, has been, this has been hailed. So we're pretty excited about this. Seriously, I, I was shocked at how well this thing would suck up the leaves out of our yard. I, mean, I loved it myself. We just went right out across there and it looked like it got every leaf. And it, it was thick. Well, the whole goal of that was uh, we wanted to make sure that we created enough suction here so that everything coming off the mower, as these mowers are getting bigger, as we're going faster, you have to make sure that this impeller gets, you know, have enough capacity to handle that. Yeah. What you're seeing here is we're able to exhaust at over speeds of 100 mile an hour off of this fan. So we're creating ourselves a, a situation where we have plenty of positive airflow. So that's why you're seeing, you don't, you don't blow out at the front of your mower. That was always the worst thing when you go mow and you get to leaves and you see them kind of fluttering away. That doesn't happen with this. Yeah, and everything just comes right in. To with, they would just get all plugged up before they even made it to the tank too. Well, that's the neat thing too. Uh, they get plugged up or, or your tank would get full and you didn't know it. That's why what we have on here is we have our Terra King fill indicator. Yeah, so this is, that, this is that part that kept beeping at you when you were yeah. full telling you go to do it. And I uh, kept ignoring it. Oh, I know, but eventually you, you got to listen to these things. <laughs> this is an incredible product. I Thank you. I, I, I'm really impressed with it. Guys, check it out. You can go to terraking.com. Now, these guys don't have online ordering, partially because it's unique for each tractor. So you let them know that you've seen it on Tractor Time with Tim, and they'll give you a deal. And if you're interested in any of our other products, go visit your local John Deere dealer. They can all give them to you. Another candy store, Christy. Absolutely. So this is a, a, a drop spreader for salt. Yes, this has been one of our biggest new products. And when I say new, uh, we came out with this about five years ago with John Deere. The first iteration was on the Gator. Uh -huh. uh, the demand was so high, what we've seen is it's gone to the Terrain Cut, uh, the commercial mower. It's gone to the X700 for people that do sidewalks. It's on the compact utilities. This is a beast for when you go do sidewalks. You ever go to the sidewalks and you look to see them and you see the dead grass in the springtime, about 12 yeah. inches? It, they had a broadcast spreader, it's pretty obvious. Okay. With one of these drop spreaders, the nice thing is you're putting salt exactly where it needs to be. You don't have that over broadcast, plus you're conserving it. We did this about five years ago when rock salt, I mean, the price of it was going sky high. Mm -hmm. That's the nice thing about these, you don't over apply. Do you always do full width or does the, can you change it? Uh, we, we do full width, it's 43 inches full width. Uh, and, okay. and that typically goes off of things that you're putting out in the front, whether it's a snow blower, whether it's a blade, uh, it's a typical side of a sidewalk is 48 inches, so this keeps you on the inside of that. 
everything on this is stainless steel. It's going to have rock salt in it. We want this thing to last. Uh, you know, other things that we have like plastic uh, or metal powder coated. Uh, when you're talking about always on, always commercial, you got to have the stainless steel. Yeah, it looks really nice. The really neat thing about this is we put the controls on the outside. Some of the other people put the controls on the inside. So if you okay. want to adjust the gate of how much how much rock salt is falling, uh, they put four bolts there that you gotta you gotta adjust. Okay. It, it gets pretty hard to do when it's full of rock salt. So what we did is we put on the outside these adjustment handles right here, where all you can do if you look inside the hopper, you can see that we're opening and closing the gate externally. So it's a great way to uh, be able to adjust it and get usage out of it uh, when you want to get more application done. That's very nice. This is a functional unit. Thanks. Hey John, you guys have got everything from snow removal to herbicide application. Thank All you. All that covered. Appreciate it very much. Thanks so, for coming out and visiting us. I hope you guys have enjoyed this, seeing a lot of different John Deere attachments and Terra King attachments, all from Superior Tech. Um, check out our website, tractortimewithtim.com. Check out your website at spiritech.com. And we'll see you next time on Tractor, Tractor Time with Tim. I'm here with two big guys today. They make me feel short. Best time I've had picking up leaves in, well, forever. Hey, you don't have time to be talking to me. You need to be working. Okay, bye. Boy, that wasn't like hard this. at all. <laughs>